What is up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in today's video we're taking a look at the Astral Horizon and specifically how you can go about farming this weapon this week. So if you want to find out how to get one of the best kinetic shotguns in the game, then this is the video for you. Now if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a rating down below, that super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. Now with the launch of Season of the Worthy, we got the reintroduction of Trials of Osiris and with that, the introduction of some new weapons that we can earn whilst playing this game mode. Now these can be earned from getting wins, but also for going flawless as well. But in this video today, we're looking specifically at the Astral Horizon. This is a legendary kinetic shotgun, which is an aggressive frame, so it's hard hitting, it has high recoil and it increases the rate of fire after each kill. Now this is brand new to Destiny, so a couple of the roles that you'll be looking for is something with full choke, possibly even light to increase the range and the reload speed but you can have a great combination of perks in the two columns you can either have slide shot in the middle column where sliding partially reloads the weapon's magazine and temporarily boosts range and stability or even quick draw where this weapon could be drawn unbelievably fast then in the final column you've got a couple of choices opening shot is probably the preferred option which improves accuracy and range on the opening shot of attack which is excellent on a shotgun you've also got the trial specific trait which is called celerity where you gain the following effects while you're the last living member on a fire team. So these would be things like increased target acquisition, increased handling and reload speed and reduced flinch from incoming fire. In order to obtain this weapon you first need to visit Saint 14 over in the tower hangar. If this is your first run in Trials of Osiris he will have two passages available. One of those is the Passage of Mercy which forgives one loss per run as well as the Passage of Ferocity where with zero losses your third win grants a bonus win. Now alongside that there'll be three other passages that you could possibly get. Now you need to first unlock these and these are unlocked by getting a certain amount of wins in the event itself. And these include the passage of wealth, the passage of wisdom and the passage of confidence. Now to get this weapon we don't really need to focus too much on these three here. Although one does grant you extra tokens you will need to get five wins in order to get this which is actually going to increase your loot pool for Trials of Osiris. So the aim here is to keep your loot pool as small as possible. So with that in mind we want to pick up the passage of mercy not the passage of wealth but once you picked up the passage of mercy you'll also want to pick up a couple of the bounties as well there are two weekly bounties each of these will grant five trials tokens each you'll also have four dailies which grant an additional two per bounty and you can also collect additional bounties if you're going to continue to play the event over the weekend but a combination of playing the matches and completing the bounties will allow you to collect tokens for saint 14. And in order to get a rank up package for Saint 14, you need to collect 20 trials tokens. Now another way to get tokens relatively easily is via the new Twitch extension. If you're a fan of trials like me, you'll probably have Twitch on as you're playing as well. So make sure to tune into some of the Sherpas who are helping the community out. Now as you'll see from the footage here, I'm checking out Grenada Jake. He's a massive help to the community and helps Xbox and PC players with their first flawless carries. So if you're not following Grenada Jake already on Twitch, be sure to check out his link in the video description below. Now the reason we're checking out Grenada Jake is he has the new Twitch extension available, which is dedicated to Destiny 2. So this not only tracks the card that he's actually playing, but also allows you to react to each match at the end. And by reacting to 10 matches, you'll complete the Twitch bounty. And what this does is grant you 5,000 Glimmer, 12,000 XP, and between 5 and 12 Trials tokens. Now the Astral Horizon drops on the third win of the week. So if you haven't played Trials at all so far, you'll want to make sure that you don't complete any more than four wins in a row. What this does is it restricts your loot pool, meaning that the shotgun is possibly the only item in your loot pool and by collecting tokens for playing and resetting your card or by watching twitch streamers who are helping the community you can collect tokens to hand into saint 14 which allows you opportunities of the astro horizon shotgun so a few key points to bear in mind is only allow four wins in a row and reset your card each and every time if you're specifically chasing the shotgun if you played trials last week and you have some items unlocked in your loot pool they may possibly drop also from saint 14 but by restricting the amount of wins that you get this this week you are increasing your chances of getting the shotgun itself and remember to activate and link your twitch account to bungie.net this will link the twitch extension and allow you to get those extra tokens 
And finally, make sure to pick up as many additional bounties as you possibly can. Make sure to visit Saint 14 after each reset to make sure you've got the maximum amount available. So there we have it guys, that's how you can get your hands on the Astro Horizon shotgun. Farm out those tokens as much as you can up to a maximum of four wins and reset your card each and every time to make sure your loot pool stays as small as possible and focuses specifically on that weapon. Now if you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're new around here, I want to keep up to date with all the latest destinations to content then be sure to hit subscribe as well i'm gonna jump back into the game as always guys but i'll catch you all again very soon